Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we got these two Lego Ferrari Lego sets and we are going to review them today. So let's start with this, the F8 Tributor, so let's put the F40 on the side. So this Lego this is a Lego Ferrari F8 Tributor, here's the Lego manual. So you know it's a real one. There's the symbol. And this is one of my favourite new LEGO Speed Champion sets. I love how they got the wing mirrors with this lovely curve, like a real life wing mirrors. And like you can fold them, like in real life, when you got the folding inside. I love how it, it's using all these tiles and it's curves and there's a curve there. And then sometimes you have to use these pizza like shapes, like for the wing mirrors. It's a very interesting, it might look complicated, but it's very technical. And then you got on the sides with this curve, like to make the door lines. Obviously, this doesn't have a door. And you got like the Warrior emblem printed on this tile. Both Warriors have that. Then you got this F, and like on the Pista, and no, like the F488 Pista and the F8 Tributo. The Pista does have it, but not as well. And then you got this block for the exhaust. That's probably the trickiest part, I would say, sticking on, but it was interesting. And then you got the four lights. And then you got this like engine cover. Like over here, you've got the engine cover here, and you've got the spoiler. So, yeah, and then we move on to the other side where you got the same details. And I love these rims the fly came with, it did came with some other rims. That I'll show you later with the minifigures and the accessories with this Ferrari. And then we move on to the F40. And then you got... Then you can put your driver here. So you take off the windscreen wiper. Then you see there's like... like a you've got two seats and you've got this cool sticker where the Ferrari's got the thing. I can imagine they might do one later on with the Lambos. Maybe a new Aventador. So for the next year's models. So yeah, you got that. So then you get your minifigure. But this guy's got a lovely printed t-shirt with the flower emblem. Then you got the jacket on the side. And then you got some yellow striping, like a fancy leather jacket. It's got blue legs. And this interesting hair. So then you got to then you could fold your seats there. Again, sit down in the Lego set. Like that. You would have to take off your hair because you couldn't put him in the hair. It's kind of a trick to put him in with the hair, but you can put him in with his helmet. Fold him back. And then you can slap that on top. And then you've got the driver in his seat. It also comes with this wrench, I guess that's what you call it, a wrench. And some whims, like these whims. That don't look as good as the whims I picked. So let's move on to my next one. Also, I love how they did the interior. As they got like a curve there, like that's like where the passengers see and that's where the glove box. I love how they made this all nice and cool. So, yeah, let's move on to the better one of the two. And that is the F40. And this is a Lego set that they pretty much couldn't get any better. It's all blocky. So, this Lego set is called the Ferrari F40 Competency Only. There it is. And you got all the angles from the F40. You got the lines. I love how we got to do the um, like 
door thing and the air vent. And then you got air vents there. Very this had more stickers than the FA tribute overall reasons. And I love how we got the tinted lights. I wish there was like a, maybe a little sticker where the pop up headlights are. Because that's a cool feature of this car. In the year, it had F. You had to put the sticker on here. We got wheel covers that actually matched the period. You had two different ones. You had the choice of these. Or them, but that one to me fixed the Ferrari period because the F40 actually had that. Then you get to the rear where it's got all the squares, it's got the exhaust, it's got the tail lights, it's got the logo there for the Ferrari F40. Maybe, and you got the red and orange lights like the actual F40. And then on the sides, you got the angles like that. You got the angles, and that is a printed piece there. That's no sticker. That's printed. So, and if you want to change it to the F8 Tributo, I mean the Ferrari Compensancy only. What you do is take this roof panel off. You open the trunk where also on in the trunk you got like a space you got like a boot here where you can actually stick your screwdriver if it fits come on fit so yeah you got like a space for your screwdriver And then you get this hood, you put that on top. That does usually fit on. Yeah, so you got a trunk there where you can put your screwdriver. Then you can plop your new hood on. Like that. Then what you do is get this as your splitter stick. That's and uh, oh yeah you turn it upside down for that then you got the spoiler the black piece so you take the red one off and you put the carbon fiber spoiler and then you got this piece and you can stick so what you do is take out that piece will just slide out and then you got this black one where it's like a more angry diffuser and then you got that one there so then you done this and you also if you want take off your headlights And then you got your clear ones. And then you got the F8, the Ferrari F40 Composite only. Where it's got loads, it's got the splitters, got the hood then. Right. Not many people like, but I like how it looks. Looks angry. It's got the black spoiler and it's got the light more angry looking diffuser and it did also come with some spare rims if you wanted to put different rims so it comes with these and these because this one came with four spares because I think these are the lightweight and these are like the road going one and it did came with a minifigure it came with this Flying guy with his red helmet and his visor. I prefer this one than the F8 Tributo up to the head. Then I prefer the head because it's got two pieces. Because I like how it's got like the classic looking race suit. So then to stick him in, you open this bit again, you get the minifigure, put his legs down, 
move his arms up so he can fit properly and then you stick that in if it wants to go down and then you got your lego speed champion set. so let's get all the lego sets all up together so then you got that And thank you guys for watching another video and if there's any other video ideas you want to, me to do leave down in the comments below and thank you for watching and goodbye